Merry Merry Halloween. Mm, this is a Merry big Halloween. reaction type thing. I asked people on the internet to send me. My mouth will catch up with my mouth soon. Um, I asked them to send me very short videos or something of that nature to watch and get in the mood for Halloween about. Me and Weaven did an escape room, a spooky escape room just now. We just got back. It was good, wasn't it, Weaven? It was very good. It was highly enjoyable. Um, and we got out as well. We did. We managed to get out. I was very impressed. Impressed with us. Okay, so before we get into the viewing and stuff like that, I just wanted to quickly show you this Twitter thread, um, Bitter Corella. I'm going to put the link to the whole thing down in the description because it, I think it's really clever. Um, it basically each different tweet is takes on um, takes on the idea of um, horror authors meeting at night to go through their stories, and um, but it's really funny and I really want it to be like an animated thing. I think that would be hilarious. So you should have a look at that. Midnight Society, I think it's called. Oh, hello again. No. Okay. What was the next thing I wanted to look at? Um, okay, I picked a few to ease us in. Because I don't, I haven't seen what these other videos are. I don't know how weird or freaky they are. So, you know, be aware. So I thought we'd ease in with some gentle stuff do you think so. we're we're likely to um kick our pants did you bring any spare pants in case i I've, I've got lots of spare you've got pants. as Obviously i said we've got pants we, here but as I, as I said when we vis visited the escape room mm. um i am wearing brown pants so that's probably and could i just say fine. while you were at the escape room mm -hmm. i carved pumpkin that's yes Bill did us. the so pumpkin if people and want to comment uh, yes. you know and show the pumpkin wonderful we well, can see it tell me how brilliant it is you can see it yeah there yeah it's just behind you and also i put some vegetarian sweets in this so that's exciting okay let's get to the thing we'll start off with a gentle thing in the 90s the uk suddenly went crazy for weird esoteric TV, like, um, you know, um, just anything weird, really, not necessarily even just spiritualism, just bizarre stuff. Um, and they had a series on called Sacred Weeds, and it was uh, basically, uh, I think, four scientists would hang around in this big house, and two test subjects who would take some sort of natural drug and the everyone else would be in suits and just like staring at them and asking them I questions. I saw this years ago, didn't I? Yeah, yeah years, I showed years you it years ago. Yeah. And um, I just remember, I was very little when it was actually on, but I saw it again later and I remember it was quite funny. But this bit was bizarre. It's about henbane, which is witchy. They talk about witches, so I thought Halloween. Um, and so I thought that would be a good one to watch. But one of the scientists has this really like out there theory about witches wow. using henbane. And it just seems to come with absolutely no evidence. And there's another lady there who's like an, an expert in, um, you know, the witch trials and the reality behind it and so on. And she's just like saying, well, like, where is your evidence for this? Yeah. Like, well, I, it could happen, therefore it did. Yeah. So I thought we'd, basically, we'd just have a really quick look at that. Paul referred to the surprising suggestion that broomsticks were used to apply hallucinogenic ointments to the genitals. <laughs> did Liz think it possible to absorb Henbane's chemicals in this way? Oh, of course, most ointments, there is penetration through the skin. Mm. And in fact, nowadays, we use this transdermal delivery system quite commonly for hormone replacement therapy patches, nicotine uh, patches. And in mm. fact, mm -hmm. one of the tropane alkaloids, hyacine, which is known as scopolamine in the States, is used as a travel sickness drug and can be applied to the skin as a mm. patch, mm. where it will gradually soak through the skin and have a long-term effect. I entirely accept 
that um, psychotropic substances can be absorbed through ointments. I entirely accept that you could use a broomstick to apply them to the, the vaginal membrane. The fact that you could do so does not at all mean that people did do so. And I think much more plausible <laughs> He's like the image of the flying witch I, had I much more to do to with think medieval of them rubbing it on that family. I think it's going to change that. They've rubbed it on that family. understood yeah. as people of the air, fallen angels, devils are naturally understood as having the power of flight, and so, of course, they grant that power to their subordinates. Yeah. So that's why it's so no, you common really want in the, to rub the it on that period, hmm. uh, this image of, of, of uh, flight, rather than reflecting any of the practices that... Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, why I they think it must be the case, and those sort of images that we have, well, obviously not literally true and obviously romanticised, but must bear something to do with the tropane alkaloids that create this impression of the spirit leaving the body and going flying out of body experience and so on, that we know that these substances like N-Bane can produce. And I'm sure that is... There is some evidence to support Paul's view, from a 16th century physician to the Pope, who records that an ointment obtained from two people accused of witchcraft actually did induce a trance state. But Diane thought that confessions of flying experiences obtained by the Inquisition were generally made up. I think that she is probably right. Right, this is from Leo X. Robertson. Um, oh, this might be... Is this... Oh, this is writing. Man trying to enter my home in the middle of the night. I'll read it out for yeah. everyone. This happened last night. I had just fallen asleep. I hear my dog outside losing his shit, only to be followed with a notification on my phone. There is motion at your front door. Thanks, Ring. I open my phone to the live view of what's happening, only to be greeted by an eyeball directly in front of the camera and a man whispering, mumbling to himself. He proceeds to knock and ding the doorbell. Now, I live in a quiet suburb town, wholesome neighbours, all good people. Luckily, I decided to actually lock my door today. He then begins trying his luck at the doorknob and the window standing off to the side, all the while I hear mumbling and whispers. After my significant other lets him know that we are going to call the police, he gets all huffy puffy, saying how he was just looking for his dog, Fido, uh -huh, by trying to enter my house and mm. be a fucking creep on the video. <laughs> In fact, he go see for yourself. Oh, so this is a video of someone. I've seen that. Oh. oh well, we're gonna look at it anyway. Yeah. I might not look at it. Oh. 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 I only saw it a few days ago. A couple of days ago. Oh, weird. Okay. Hmm. He looks like he's trying to knock on a door, like, over there somewhere as well. I wonder what... Is it drugs? Yeah, I think it's Looks just like drugs. Just pistol. Oh, um, yeah, mm. probably. Hmm. It reminds me of when I accidentally wandered into the wrong house and I was trying to go to my friend Nathan's and they he lived on a like row of houses that all looked identical and I couldn't remember which one was his. <laughs> and um, I just was so convinced that it was Nathan's that I wandered in and I was going, hi Nathan, it's me. And then this dog came like running over to me, tail wagging, really excited. So it was like the worst guard dog. Ooh, freaky man. Yeah, the dog is awake, Pardon? Doggy. This bit's, this bit's freaky. Oh. Oh my god! What do I do? What do I Oh god. He looks like a blobfish when he goes up close like that. That was really... And he's just whispering nonsense. He's just, he? he's just gibbering. Yeah. I reckon that's meth or something. It might be, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's just very odd. I think he's just confused as to where he is. He thinks he's near his home or mm. around his friends or something. It's just the whispering seems to be not 
especially something you do just when you're drunk or whatever. Especially in the middle of the night, or yeah. well, you're, you're in bed and then you look at your phone the next and day. And then that's, that's on, on there, outside yeah, your house. Yeah, you'd be like, what that was really freaky. You'd be just praying that you don't see him climb into yeah. your house or something. And then you yeah. haven't seen him footage of him leaving. And yeah, you realise yeah, that exactly. he's like under your bed or exactly. something. <laughs> oh god, he's going in for another. <gasps> oh my god. I can't make out what you said. I don't think he's saying anything really. I think he's probably confused as to where he's supposed to be, what he's supposed to go. Yeah. I think this group seems confused by a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, you just. I think that car confused. put him off, that car that drove past, I think he went. Made him think, no, he's going back in for more. Okay, I'll, I'll just go to the front of the dog, fight him! Fido. You know what that's that stuff, honey? Not that. You know, we could be friends. We could be friends. <laughs> Sad. He was looking at that, um, tree or lamppost or whatever it is and like as if it was a mate. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't be any better in staged really if you if you try to create that if you're like making a short film. Like you couldn't have done that yeah. any better. Yeah. Oh by the way, before we carry on, I just wanna this T-shirt is by Betty Rocksteady. Her book was, um, her new Bizarro author series book was released at the same time as me with Eraserhead Press. Do -do. Oops, wonderful thing. Do -do. Do -do. Okay, back to the themes. Um, back to life. Is, I think that's the video that goes with that. Yes, that was good. Well done, Leo. Uh, the next one from Liam Shardlow, who I refer to as Chimpy, because when we were, were in the pub, when we met up for like a writer's meeting type thing, he um, looked at a couple of pictures of his afterwards and said that his arms look weirdly long. <laughs> so I said, Chimp boy. And luckily he saw the funny side. <laughs> and so now it's just become his name, Chimpy. Chimpy. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, the cat with hands. I've actually seen this. It's good. It's um, an Last animation. Night as I slumbered, I had a strange dream. One that seemed to bring distant friends near. I think, yeah. I dreamt up the faces of people I loved. And I awoke with an art full of cheer. <laughs> Have you seen this? Think so. Um, it's by Ben somebody. You know this is the place, don't you? Where it comes from, so they say. Like, Story has it: a boy came face to face with that animal. Right here. Yeah, yeah. He's got nice teeth. It's like a fairy tale or something. Yeah. Right where we're standing. Yes, exactly. I like this. Yes, it's good. Sweetie? Not for me, I would some out there, isn't it? I want that for a pet. I think I'm going to try it. Be a good pet and also do things for me, like get up and change the channel and yeah. things like that. Yeah. That's a 
that's where the smart robots will go. Yeah. There might just be boxes and things. I think, be... on, you know, smart robots is freaky, but also I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Never have to get out of bed. Just have a cute cat bring you dying. Bring me stuff. Bring you breakfast. <laughs> carried on like this, even different parts of people, like it wanted to be a person. Until that animal looked just like you or me on the outside. But the only human part it never got was that. of his other ones as well I think I might have done a blog post about them um, I don't remember what they were but I remember that they were good so yeah who's it by again let's have a look Robert Morgan that's it Ooh, I'd love to see them www.robertmorganfilms.com go and visit I will yeah good I can't remember that other guy does the the animations, this point is talking about, I can't remember his name. That's a good story, yeah. then. Yeah. Do you remember me showing you some? Um, and it was kind of a bit like, um, it was quite lynchian and... Was it Jens Stankmeyer, was, was it? Animation? Or? Yeah, it was animation, yeah, stop, stop frame animation, yeah. Um, I'm not sure, I've seen uh, a few good animation yeah, things, but I yeah, wouldn't I know which that. one. It was. If I if I can remember. Oh, is it the guy that? It's really good. One of his was on that ABC of Death or something. He did an animated section. Oh, I don't know if it was. I just saw him on Vimeo. I think I've come across him first of all. Yeah, and I think I remember. It's one of your awards and things like that. Yeah, I think it was that person. It's like one of the only. If we remember after, you could put it in the description or something. Can yes. You? Yes, I could. I can't remember. Um, so what one? Oh, I saw that one. Oh yeah, SCP. That's quite a well known. SCP is. I think most people know. It's the website which is supposed to be. Um, each post is a different um creature that's been contained within this uh, sci-fi type. Um. You know where they study aliens and that. You know that kind of. Like what's what, um, well, like a, a physical place where they yeah study a physical aliens. place where they they they've captured like weird creatures okay. and put them in this place and each post is it can be a post written by anyone but if it's not good they'll delete it okay um but uh I'll just have a quick look do do instances of oh hang on uh description instances of SCP. 072 were first discovered in an apartment building in blank Michigan after two local media reports on SCP 072's effects caused a local panic which drew the attention of embedded foundation agent blank who's this person SCP 072 is a shadowy and translucent projection which resembles a nine meter long hand the fingers of which taper to a sharp point Detailed recording of blah blah is difficult as it doesn't manifest at light levels above five lux. I don't know what that means. Instances of blank have only been observed to manifest when a human, hereafter referred to as the subject, enters REM sleep while located in a bed infected 
by it and leaves a foot or feet exposed to open air. If these conditions are satisfied, it will emerge from the foot of the bed and appear to use its pointer finger to tap on the subject's foot until they are awakened. Subjects have reported that at this point they were unable to move, showing symptoms similar to sleep paralysis. This continues as long as it's visible. It will then use its pointed fingers to cut portions of flesh from the exposed part of the subject's foot or feet. It will continue. It will return to within the bed in between each removal, emerging without the collected material. This will continue until it has taken all of the exposed foot or feet stopping at the ankle. Though subjects exposed to it report this process to be immensely painful, its paralytic effects render them unable to scream or call for help. It is unknown if manifestations of SCP-072 feed on the collected material or use them for some other purpose. As long as the wounds are properly treated, its effects are not fatal, but have been observed to cause psychological damage relating to sleep in the future. Mm. Surveillance camera system. I don't know if that's going to lead to it or... Try it. I'll just try it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just literally an advert, I think. Oh, no. okay. Okay, well... Yeah, so... Mm. It taps on you. Oh, no, that's a... I thought that was it then. He's not scary. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't scare easily. William just tried to pretend the to be the shit out of me. <laughs> I thought it was not going for my foot, but going for my boob, I suppose. Did you just quote your boob? He went, oh, yeah. Like that. I and told for a second, you not to I thought it was the him. SOP. I wasn't. I was sort of like trying to make him jump or something. But well, you just yeah. made him afraid of you. I was terrified. Yeah, you seem pretty terrified. I thought, yeah, this is me, terrified. Yeah. <laughs> um, YouTube. Sleepless nights await. Oh, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Poughkeepsie tapes. He's a spider. Oh. Ooh, why? What is that thing? Oh dear. That thing. That's quite. That thing on the floor is quite eerie. Definitely quite dark, yeah. I enjoyed that very yes, much. I, I enjoyed it left as well. Me wanting more. Yes. Uncanny, like my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. I believe that Bo Chapel, aka Infrafan on Twitter, um, has made an entire playlist for me. I think most people know I feel fantastic. So I'm not going to play that, I'm sorry. It's just, most people know it. Um, I've seen this one before. Basically, this is someone made a video out of a mask maker. This is, it's literally just a mask maker showing off what they've made. Okay. But someone made this out of his clips and it is quite eerie. <laughs> California, basically. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's um, a man, I believe. Yeah, that's one of the masks. Where they're uh, like showcasing the masks that yeah. he made. Yes. Would you go on a date with her, Weaver? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if it was the permanent grin? What if she approached you like that when you first I'm, met I'm getting her? Old, old. That's how she approached you. If she came first. up to you like that, with that grin, <laughs> would you accept her offer of a date? I feel like she's going to come through the screen and touch my face. To be honest, I probably would. Yeah. That's another mask underneath, I think. Yeah.
quality of the video is um, a definition. So it's it looks more probably more realistic than it would if it was in like yeah. 4K. Or yeah. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Right, yeah he did. Phone. It's good for like what was that? What was that series with the man who was had a disfigured face? Well, and he had a mask. Twenty-five minutes could change my life for you. Oh. Um, and it. <sighs> my name is not. The fiction thing. Like the 40s or something? Memoirs? No. I don't know. Oh, Walk Empire. Oh, they had bad face, didn't they? The guy with the, uh, the mask. With the mask on. The World War One veteran. Yeah, see that? <laughs> Sniper stuff. Jesus. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Bo! So that. <laughs> So that that was proper ball, I tell me. Oh my god! So that mask thing would it be would it be great for people, you know. That... I'm not good with loud noises. <laughs> okay, we're not watching any more of that. That's quite enough. I get the idea. Jump scares. Yes. Our legend makeup oh test. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Quality meat. Is it an actual playlist or is yeah, it? Yeah, he made me a playlist. Oh, right. Let's just cool. have a look. Oh, no, yeah, but this is it. Just well, that's nice of him, isn't it? Uh, you're you're just playing sequential. Next one's called Pee Pee. I don't know if I want to watch that. Oh, my God, it's going to be a moving chair. This proves it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a red herring. <laughs> the old chair. Broom. That was good. <laughs> wait until wait until you've got a VR headset, Maddie. I think you'll probably die of fright. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was good. Yeah, because of oh god. Right. What was his name? He sent there. I think it's oh god. That's. <laughs> I can feel my heart still. That was Bo Chapel. Well done, Bo. Cheers, Bo. I don't even know if I want to try the next one. Okay, let's Go just on. do it's it. It's Halloween. I know, I know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to skip that one. I'm sorry. It just gives me vibes. Right, this one. Oh no, he's got to eat the cat. No! Oh, I've got to die. Oh, it's the cat talking. Eat the cat. There's the cat. That's brilliant. Oh, I like it. Hello, my fetus. Oh. What does this bring us? No turning back. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> no turning back now, it said. 
Oh god, I need a brownie. That's like me in the O2. Hello, my ragtime gal. Baby, my heart's on fire. Oh, that's, so. that's the frog, isn't it, from Warner oh, yeah. Brothers? The one that um, doesn't perform. It's really sad because when I was little, I just remember thinking, why won't you dance for the people to show them that he's not insane? This one's kind of like a video game, really. Yeah. I've seen it before. Yeah, it does remind me of um, like um, a game. Oh, I've seen this. This is an art project. I think it was done in. Um... Is it? Yeah. I think you might have me this. Yeah, I showed you this. Um, she says it backwards and then she says it forwards, and it was a constant loop um, in an installation by I can't remember the artist's name. Yeah, very good. I like it. Lynchy. Oh, it's very lynchy. Oh, right, lynchy. Right, lynchy, that is. It's a right, lynchy film, that is. Bloody lynch, you bloody Rizzo's coming. It's all mine. Lynch is coming. Lynch is coming. Oh, that's right, yeah. Hey, what did she say there? There is nothing. And then she says it again backwards. And um, it was on a constant loop. I think well, that you could probably end. do that. Two, could two, you? two schools of thought there. You could... S s two schools of thought? There is nothing. Oh, about whether there is nothing mm. or whether there is something. Mm. Well, yeah, I guess it's existentialism and nihilism, isn't it? No? Yes. Uh, Check me out with my French terms. <laughs> Not that they're French. <laughs> but they were French philosophers. I don't know. Baudelaire. Is Baudelaire a writer mm. or a philosopher? I'm stupid. Baudelaire. Yeah. Um, I think Voltaire was a writer and philosopher. I don't actually know much about Baudelaire. Wasn't well, she like a, a female Roman... Emperor. <laughs> Bodicea. Bo uh, oh, she was British. I was, I was, I was she? Yeah, she oh, was. Oh, me. She would have hated that because she tried to uh, oust the Romans when they right. came over, didn't they? Right, well, she was something. She was around that time. She like led a rebel group. Yeah. yeah. It's our neck of the woods as well, wasn't it? Sort of East Anglia. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. What was that? Anik of the Woods. Anik of the Woods. Didn't, didn't, oh, she, didn't the woods. she, like, set fire to Colchester or something? Um, I think they had a battle in Colchester. I don't know, Oh, actually. it's Boudicca now, isn't it? It's not Boudicca. Is it Boudicca? Some yeah. people call her Boudicca, some people call her Boudicca. Boudicca. Yeah. I don't know what one it was. I think she raised Colchester to the ground or something. Yeah, I know that something happened in Colchester. Oh, my God, this is terrifying. Oh, I put this in. Did I put this in? Yes, I put this in, I think, because... Um, oh, no, that's right. Jason Dennis, or Dennis, rather, and Madame Mon... Was that a Trump? It has a burp. Oh. And Madame Monstrosity both recommended different Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared uh, videos. So, because they both chose that and they were both different, I thought, I'm going to put... My favourite one instead, which is number three. Um, and I think I might know all the words of the song now. But um, the, uh, yeah, although I love the creativity one and it reminds me of when I was working with the other authors in Eraserhead Press and everything, the love one, it's dark and weird, but it's kind of smeared over with rainbows and jolly stuff, which is kind of the way my brain works yeah. and the way that I've right stuff so i think it represents my head the most so just just the song i'll just play the song it makes you sad doesn't it mm -hmm. 
that there's so much hatred in the world. I hope you don't mind if I ask you a question. A little baby pigeon. Have you ever wondered why we're here? What's it all about? You've no idea. And everywhere you look, all you see is hatred and darkness and fear. But you know it doesn't have to be that I hate you and you hate me. Because even though we're different, it doesn't make a difference. And we can live in harmony. No, you don't know who I am. Together we can understand about but love. love. Huh? I feel tingly. Yes, that's love, my friend. So but it's time for you to learn all about it. Funny. <laughs> uh, one of the yeah, one yeah, one of them really does sound like um. And you will feel like life's unfair. Everybody hates you and no one cares. But if you follow me, Young maybe you will see that love is everywhere. Well, what is love? Is it in the sky? No, it's a feeling deep inside because I'm hungry. No, you're lonely. I can see it's it in your eyes. eyes. I don't understand. Don't worry, you will soon. Come and meet some of my friends. They know all about love. Come on, just over the rainbow. Oh, look, there he goes, flying through the sky. Maybe we should follow him. Or we'll get left behind. Yes, but there's lots of chicken left. I'd like to eat the chicken. I'd also <laughs> like to eat the chicken. Let's do that instead. So here we are with all my friends, and they love you, all of them. Yes, we do. It is true. We love you. You love us too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Barry boy. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> now we've eaten the chicken. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should look for our friend. Isn't that what friends do? And we have finished the chicken picnic. To love each other is to care, to be kind, and to share. Yeah. I love my friends, yeah. I give them my hug. I made a joke because I love this song. Yeah. I, I love that. I love that. I love this tree, and I love this stick, and I love this stick. No, 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 that's not how it's done. You must save your love, yeah. your special one. My special one? Everyone I'd has love a special one. I'd love to go and see one. a feature yeah. length that they do, definitely. I love it. Yes, it's true, but do not worry. You're confused, but that's okay. Let me put it another, another way. way. Oh, and then they play Michael. Your heart beats hard like a big love drum, calling for your special one. So we play you, because just maybe your special one will come. He's made for her. And she's made for him. That's the way it's always been. And it's perfect. And it's pure. And it's protected with a ring. That's the way that all love goes. Like a flower, it grows and grows. And it's forever. And forever. And now we all worship our king. <laughs> our king. Our king. Okay. Our king. His name is Malcolm. Our king. He is the king of love. Okay, we get the idea. It's a cult. <laughs> <sighs> right, what's next after that little interlude? Um, blah, blah. Okay, this is from Christopher Lesko. Nothing was happening. Was that a was that a bum smacking I saw? It was You're covering the pumpkin. Oh I don't be careful. Yeah, make sure the, the covers don't the, I work think it's been seen though enough. The, oh okay. So far. Yeah, you just make sure the duvets don't get near it too much. Yeah. Because then we'll burn to we'll death. be on fire and it won't be. And fun it'll be make a good anymore. video. The but duvet's it won't be. nowhere <laughs> anywhere near. Yeah, it won't actually. be worth it. I think there is a guy who um, was live streaming when his house. I showed you that. Burnt. Oh, was it you? Yeah. yeah. His house was on fire, and you could just hear like. But it just started making it worse. Yeah. Everything he was doing was just building on this fire. Like he, he was trying to put it out by chucking cardboard boxes on it and mattresses. And he just put and it in a wicker bin. <laughs> <laughs> put it all in a wicker bin. Fueling it. And yeah. um, like you could just hear all the people that he was communicating online with. They were all going, "Get out of the house! Get out of the house!" <laughs> yeah. And Until the screen was just grey with yeah, smoke. Yeah, he did leave. And it yeah. was bright red and grey, but like yeah. I think he was alive, so, you know. I just is seven minutes long. I'm sure you won't mind if we just watch a little, like, minute or so of this. This is a very long time to watch a thing. Alright, Eric, come here. 
time of cheers. Is that, is that light? Is that, there we go. Cheers. To brothers. Mm. Handheld, um, home video yeah. type things are quite All right. freaky. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go fuck with a victim right now. Oh! So, some of the Shane Dawson things are really good. Yeah. Is this, that's it, the, yeah, how to, my lovely, how to steal a, oh. how to go grave digging or something. Oh, look at that. No, look I don't know actually. Can we go and do what? Oh, fuck yeah. with the victim, did you do this? Uh, yeah. Wait, I got a light, yeah, turn that light on there. Ooh, I'm yeah, assuming this is a short film. I think it might be by the person that sent it to me, but I'm not sure. Uh, you click over the camera. Ooh, well, we'll just have a quick look. Yeah. So you think we did a good job getting the victim? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good little trophy. Good little trophy. I'm gonna drop my bird. What will be in there? If it's a kitten, I'll be very cross. I don't think it's going to be a kitten. Have you ever watched these before you put them No, I said. Um, they're all people that I kind of know, so it's not like... <laughs> oh, I thought that was just like a character, but that's a mask. Yeah! Okay. He's still alive. Well, I'm going to put everything in the description, so I don't want to like give the whole thing away but i will be putting all of the links in the description so feel free to have a look um these are from you even oh i forgot about that yeah let's see what you sent me here's nosy bonk i want Sorry nosy bonk planting a clue to the whole word this was a kids program yeah did you see this i just never quite comprehended it as a kid it's really freaky the amount of kids this must have given severe nightmares to i'm sure it was like part of something what's he called nosy bonk nosy bonk yeah, yeah. mr nosy bonk right? yeah i mean he just looks like it's probably a bit before your time <gasps> Yeah, I remember seeing it on um, Charlie Brooker. <laughs> it's like that's supposed to be children's entertainment. You I know, know. it is <laughs> serial killer material, definitely. And let's have a look. Invaders from Mars. Yay! Oh, I love this one. I, I saw this one from a kid. From 300 million miles away. Is that a big I don't know. The sand pit is so freaky when you're a kid. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, even now it's pretty freaky. The sound effects are pretty freaky. Cool. Oh, I think what he's doing is he's trying to get the kids to get scared. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of this. It's a, it's a film. Oh, it's a film. We should watch an episode. We should see if we can find it online. An episode? It's a film. I mean, of course. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> They're the main remake in the 80s. I bet it's not as good. We should watch it if you're still here after. Nobody can locate anything. So anything. Cold war. The Martians. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of um, like the Twilight Zone. Invaders from Mars, capturing humans at will. The thing, for their own the thing in the goldfish bowl. Turning them into diabolical well. instruments. Mm. On oh, this bit as well, like the injection thing. Like all unusual. <laughs> unusual. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unusual. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Peculiar. It's all this stuff that's fueled by sci-fi. <coughs> yeah, freaky sci-fi. No, that, yeah. that is freaky. Yeah. Ruling a race of synthetic humans and pitting them against mankind's dream to conquer the universe. 
had invented like some really weird kind of device that I think communicated with something from outer space or something like that and he's going um, he's like talking to other beings on it I don't really remember but his wife is just obsessed with this dinner party that she's about to have and it's like woman he's talking to something from an outer space <laughs> and you're going for God's sake just hand me the plate darling <laughs> yeah. I remember the Land of the Giants yeah that to my mind. That was kind of my my era. Yeah, I think I'm vaguely remember that. Oh, Tommy, a.k.a. Giants was the 60s, wasn't it? But what, it was like repeated. Oh, maybe it was repeated. Oh, they showed yeah, it a lot. Yeah, yeah. They definitely, I remember it being on TV. Yeah, yeah probably was 60s, but just repeated. So I used yeah. to watch The yeah. Invaders, that one I sent you. Um, I, I used to think that was great. Mm. And, that, and that was repeated sort of during the school holidays. Mm. Mm. But when the when the when the the like aliens who were masquerading as humans were shot and they turned red and sort of disappeared and yeah. like shred beam and then just disappeared. Do you know, I remember my nan thinking that um, when she was looking after me overnight one time, um, I was really little and she thought that she'd got um, an eighties fantasy film and the hilarious thing was it was Troll Two, which is infamously not scary and really really bad if you haven't seen that you have to it's hilarious and also watch a documentary called the best worst movie because that's the like um the boy grown up made a film about his experience on it and that's really funny as well mm. but um i just remember because i was so little i didn't i hadn't seen anything like it i was terrified um yeah. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing being scared by troll too but you know yeah but you're kind of exempt, aren't you, if you're, yeah, if you're seven yeah, or whatever. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, okay, Tommy, a.k.a. Atters1000 on Twitter, which is where I know him from, sent me something, and he's got a video and a backstory, so we'll have a look at the backstory. Um, the Bitterroot footage, what I found is disturbing. Read story. Let's have a quick look. My name is Chad. He gets all the girls, Chad does. Yeah. Uh, I'm a student at a university in New York. I just moved to a studio apartment and needed some furniture. I found a guy on Craigslist that wanted to desperately... Oh, this is a, like, online series. I think I might have heard of this. Um, wanted to desperately get rid of his things at super cheap prices, so I went to check it out. He sold things in bulk to get rid of as mu of many things as possible. I bought a small table and it came with a bunch of other random things. Some of it I gave away and some I kept. An old wooden box caught my attention. It was locked and out of curiosity I kept it. I had to force open the lid with a screwdriver and inside I found some old pictures. The word bitterroot was handwritten on the backs of all of them. There was also a tin can that contained a reel of a film that I later learned from my friend Dario, a film student, was 8mm film. The film was pretty damaged, so I just kept it on my bookshelf as decoration, but I couldn't get the images of the pictures out of my head. I had to figure out a way to watch that film. With help from Dario, we got an old 8mm projector in good working condition on eBay. The film skipped in several spots, so we put it together with a special tape and then watched it again. What we found was disturbing. It's Darth Vapor adding to the atmosphere of dread and terror. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've always known as Bill. As Bibby Bear. As poor Bibby Bear, yeah. As a tiny little cute bear named Bibby. A tiny little cute bear named Bibby. <laughs> Sorry, there's Hello. dogs. Um, I asked my friend to help me make this website so I can share my findings. There's some sort of dog murder going on. Um, okay, so that was the backstory, and 
this is one of the videos, I guess. Original for Mounted Melody. Oh. Like my home video of my children's party when I was four. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was it though. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it? laughs> <laughs> Instead of pass the bathroom, we just yeah. played hide and seek, but with like in a really disturbing yeah. manner. I hated children's parties. I used to cry until finally I found out that it wasn't law. Oh, mm -hmm. that's quite good, that figure. Mm. Ape-like. Yeah. But it wasn't law, and the relief I felt when I found out that I didn't have to have a birthday party. Yeah, it was actually supposed to be for your benefit, yeah, not, it not wasn't, punishment. I remember actually saying to my mum, oh God, I just wished, you know, I wished that we didn't have to do it. And she said, what are you doing, do you know? <laughs> Eerie. Ooh. I wonder if kids still play Postman's Knock. Oh, they do at our house, you know, they do at my uh, mum's house, yeah. Because mm. I, I remember playing that. Uh, on my birthday we played on There's kids that do it around mm. there all the time, it's really annoying. Ooh. Are you sure is that the same thing I'm talking about? Person's Where you knock not. on the door and run away? Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. Let's knock down. Oh let's knock down ginger. Knock down ginger. What's postman's knock? What's postman's knock? I thought it was the kiss thing. Where you, you kiss a girl. And That's kiss it. chase, isn't it? No, you, you go in a different room and you're supposed to kiss the girl and then walk out again. It's more of a pagan, isn't it? Oh, is that when Well, this or that. Yeah. Is that yeah. both? Played at parties and stuff. Yeah. So you, you'd knock, you go in with someone and you won't know who it is in there or something. No, like that. you just go in the next room and kiss a girl. Oh. I've, n I've not heard of that. Oh, Are no. you sure they didn't just make you do it. Well yeah, I quite I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> well, I bet you did, yeah. I was only like seven, but yeah. Spookies. Oh. Maybe though once you heard. It's very atmospheric. It is. Do 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 This is quite pagan. Looks kind of pagan. Like people in animal costumes or something. I can't quite make it out. Sweeties. Where's her and the hunter? <coughs> Pardon? Where's her and the hunter? Her and the hunter? Mm. Home is the hunter? Like the oh, into. home. Did you no. say home is the hunter? No, no. I did. Her and the hunter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I only know it from Robin the Sherwood, which is all what was my favourite. Like a. Uh, Yes, you like Robin. Oh, it's a body. Keeper of the forest. Mm -hmm. kind of, like a, a figure with a stag's head. Ah. Ooh. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Um, Joanne Howe, aka Aburidashi on Twitter, sent this. Google has many useful tools. Ah, Not to help us at all. Don't take over the world. The sound of the wind wake me up in the middle of the night. A typhoon is in Japan. It's got uh, subtitles over subtitles. This is my room. Oh my god, what is this going to be? I don't know. The tatami mats are terribly damaged. Well, that's happening. Huh? Tonight I want to introduce my house. What tapping noise? Uh. Footsteps. This is the longest hallway in my house. Oh my god. This is, is this going to make me screaming? Uh, this is the Hina doll room. <laughs> oh god, what is this? Yes. Oh god, I felt my heart drop. This is the altar and ancestors. This is a picture from around the time of World War II. Quite good to have the altar. Yeah. When I open this prosumer sliding door, there's another hallway. Oh, every time it turns the camera. Right room is the doll room. This room was closed up by my grandfather. Oh my god, what are you going to do? This is a picture of my mother when she was a child. Yeah, that is very... It's like the escape room that we were in, only more. This is my great-grandmother. When I turn left at the end, there is another hallway. <sighs> this is the bathroom. <laughs> I hear a sutra. It's an instrument. Sutra? I just want it as you see. My grandfather is always listening to sutra from the radio. Oh my god. The wall peels off the ceiling when it rains. Why am I so, I'm so nervous. Is it, am I normally this nervous? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I am, aren't I? This is the longest hallway in my house. I love horror and yet I'm in a perpetual state of anxiety. A typhoon is in Japan. This is my room. Tatami mats are terribly damaged. Is it looping? It is, isn't it? I mean, not literally, but there's a repetition. When I open the consumer sliding, oh my god, there is another hallway. <sighs> <laughs> this is a picture from around the time of World War Two. Yeah, I don't need to keep reading it out because we've. Yeah. Heard it all. <laughs> What's it going to do? Is it just going to... Oh, 
god damn, the Japanese make creepy things. Blood, or blood in it, or something, I don't know. I wonder if they shut it all in one take, or whether they repeat where they go yeah, through the doors. Yeah, maybe they. I don't know. The holes eaten by insects have turned black like blood stains. This is a grandmother's mannequin, or this is grandmother's mannequin. Actually, just someone showing us around their ruined house. <laughs> I don't think so. This is the toll room. <laughs> like an estate agent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's someone just property. letting a flat. <laughs> it's a bit, you know, rustic, but. <laughs> I'm looking for something quirky. <laughs> it's got a lot of character. <laughs> rustic. Yeah. 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 Shabby chic. Yeah. Oh, rustic. Proposed to me after we went and saw all the no masks in the Japanese gardens, I didn't did. you? Mm. Like the Japanese theatre masks yeah. that they would wear. In the Japanese gardens. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. I'm just. I'm waiting for. Oh gosh, I'm just waiting for um something. Yeah. How, how long? The door it's this long, it's 12 minutes. <sighs> Not sure what. 12 minutes? Yeah. If people like it, maybe they could. I think we're. Um, we haven't got that far to go, really. Haven't we? Not really, no. You can tell me what happens, I'm not going to get the level. Do you reckon that's some kind of like um, catcher in the rye thing? <laughs> Do you mean that... It's got some sort of subliminal effect. <laughs> yeah. I think it is unsettling. It is unsettling. That was very unsettling. Yeah. Right, okay, this is from W.D. Frank, a.k.a. Gregarious Otter on Twitter. Um, he's another weird writer type person. I was only nine years old. I loved Shrek so much, I had all the merchandise and movies. Shrek I too, Jack. I Shrek every night before bed, hmm? thinking him for the life I've been given. Yeah, the Jack's films, yeah. Shrek is love, I say. Shrek is life. My dad hears me and calls me a f- I knew he was just jealous of my devotion for Shrek. I called him a c- he slaps me and sends me to go to sleep. I'm crying now, and my face hurts. I lay in bed, and it's really cold. A warmth is moving towards me. I feel something touch me. It's Shrek. It's Shrek. I'm so happy. He whispers in my ear, this is my swamp. He grabs me with his powerful ogre hands and puts me on my hands and knees. This is going to be I'm some ready. sort of romance, isn't I it? I spread my ass cheeks for Shrek. Yeah. And it's my butthole. <laughs> it hurts so much, but I do it for Shrek. <laughs> I can feel my butt tearing as my eyes start to water. Oh my God. I push against his horse. I want to please Shrek. He roars a mighty roar as he fills my butt with his love. My dad walks in. Shrek looks him straight in the eye and says, It's all over now. Shrek leaves through my window. <laughs> Shrek is love. Shrek is life. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Interesting. Very sweet. 
<laughs> Halloween with a twist. <laughs> Don't show that one to the kiddies. Hardcore pornography. <laughs> I imagine Shrek sung like a donkey as well. I imagine, probably, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, WD Frank. Is it, um, Disney Shrek? I don't, I don't know, actually. I don't think so. But they're the really litigious ones, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not Disney, yeah. Right, this is from my friend... Ian Willingham, aka Sciencco on Twitter. I know him from college. We went to, well, English college. And then, never say no to Panda. What have you sent me, Ian? Why don't we get some Panda cheese? Enough, that's too much already. I think some people are having a little joke. It's my expense. No, I don't like panda cheese. Oh dear. <laughs> it's good. It's like, um, we should look at little baby's ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's an unusual direction for a cheese to take. Isn't it? Yeah. So you need that, don't you? <laughs> That's what I should have done at pizza making in Florence. Yes. When that bloke said that they didn't have any diet coke. Yeah. Which delight. Just you know. Okay. That's very good, Ian. Thank you. That was funny. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> Hacker slash Dan. He sent me a couple. So, don't oh, don't this don't says don't extremely don't shocking. Real weird. Oh, I think I've seen this. This is like a car ride thing, yeah. Yeah. Some weird witch thing running after the car as they... Drive. Oh, do you remember that thing that did you send it to me? Like, the usual day in, in an English pub, and it was like the pub was just sort of really, really eccentric. Like, no, that was good. I wonder what that was. Well, maybe click for it. I don't know. It was just silly, really. Hmm. It wasn't scary. It was no. I've seen this, yeah. yeah. They dressed their friend up. Can you see what's going on, Bill? Oh, just about. That's like a witch thing or whatever. Yeah. He's having a hernia, it sounds like, doesn't he? <laughs> Why is his friend not driving off, though? Like... If your if your friend is in the back of the car going, oh my god, drive yeah. or whatever he's saying, 
and he's just sat there going mm-hmm. like mm. it's waddling up the road like E.T. isn't it? yeah yeah <laughs> well, that makes it a bit scary in a way it's just silly yeah Footage like this that they've got of like some gnome that wasn't supposed to be, and he came out from behind the bush going. <laughs> Why would your friend just not be driving if you're like literally screaming in the back of the car to drive? Why is it he keeps stopping? Like it's really yeah. annoying. Like clearly he wouldn't do that. and that's when something's going to suddenly make a loud noise and freak me out. Jaws of revenge. Yeah. Come back. Five-headed shark attack. Five. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen that, watch it. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's much funnier than the Meg. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I've always thought that, like, you know the divers that go underwater, you know, like, looking for bodies and things, I've always thought that that's got to be the most scariest thing. Oh, it would be awful, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, like, I it... find, like, the darkness of underwater really I mean, the sea scary. and underwater is a really uncanny place because it's not somewhere that humans are naturally supposed yeah, to be. I find it really unsafe and... Yeah. and the, the, the way that like, the light only goes a certain distance and then suddenly like something might be there really spooky yeah yeah and then you suddenly in the darkness happen upon some bloated corpse yeah exactly oh. yeah 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 awful you have to just really not that's quite that's been in lots of things haven't it? yeah oh yeah. we we'll have to make a pennywise cake Atmospheric music there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's skim along. Hey, this is not what I thought it was. That's <laughs> what the thing. I haven't seen the remake of. The oh no, not the thing. It. Oh, yeah, it's, it's fun. Like I wouldn't. It's not scary, but it's fun. Um, you, the characters are really likable. <laughs> I wonder why someone sent me a cake DIY. <laughs> I make it. <laughs>
How to make a Pennywise cake. Good. Uh, it's got a lot of dislikes, which I imagine is people who thought it was actually going to be a cake tutorial. So. Yeah. See, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, a lot of old grannies. Online mischief there. Oh, that, did I say that was from Ben Walker or Ben's Not Writing, who does writing? This is Angus. <laughs> Oh, I know BBM. They do music. It's improvement. Yeah. <laughs> the places where we go, where we go. It's so when I'm lying in my bed, feel the trauma from my head, and I feel the love is there. I'm loving angels instead. Ben, that was quite amusing. Thank you, Ben. Yes, thank you, Ben. Um, I think this. Oh, this is a, an Edgar Allan Poe thing. It's very long. A dream within a dream. Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore That's the video in itself, gone? really. All it? that we yeah. see or seem is mm. but a dream within a dream. I stand amid the roar of a surf tormented shore and i hold within my hand grains of the golden sand how few yet how they creep through my fingers to the deep while i weep while i weep oh god can i not grasp them with a tighter clasp oh god can i not save one from the pitiless wave Yes, I like Edgar Allan Poe. I, that was from a Hellenic pagan. I know them from YouTube, actually. But um, I remember we went to go and see that. Do you remember in Ed the Edinburgh Fringe, we went to go and see that play, um, the Edgar Allan Poe play with the horses. Oh, that was well good. It was really good. Yeah, they had um, like a, this stage that was just like crazy. It was so dynamic and they were moving and... Um, like it was um, shifting. It was almost like a film. The way everything was actually, like they could go from room to room, and it was. But it was all like on stage, you mm. know. Yeah, that was. And that was impressive. Yeah. Well, like they had a stage that sort of swivelled round or something, and they walked. Yeah, I think it, it kind of swivelled round, and they were able to like move the set, like yeah. sort of as it was going, and. And then they um, walked through a door, and they they're still on stage. Still on stage. It was like they were in a different room. Yeah. And. Um, and it was that story where the um, the person who's visiting doesn't realise that the 
lunatics have taken over the asylum and he thinks that the people that he's talking to and the people that work in the hospital Brilliant. that they've locked everyone in like yeah. the the rooms and everything yeah and um, yeah it was good i liked it it was good so yes thank you i think that's one i will listen to with my earphones of an evening with your ears with my ears in conjunction with, with your earphones no. yes the earphones the, will the lead ears. the sound to my ears and yes. I will hear them. Through your ears. We'll hear them. Through my and your ears. Mind. And we're just going to finish on one that I added for the end, which is Crayons realms by and your Gus Johnson. Johnson. Yes. 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 This is possible. It's very silly, but I thought it would be a fun one to end it hey, on. Andy. Yeah. Hey, slow, we need boy. to bring the C100 mm. downtown because we're shooting with Dom at 2, okay? Okay. Uh, Oh, hey, real quick, do you want to grab the uh, little binder clips? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, sounds good. Hey, uh, one more thing, I need you to... Ah, what? There's a bunch of crayons in here. What? Yeah, there's just... I was drinking water, I thought, and there's just a bunch of crayons. Terrifying. There's crayons in your cup. That's weird. Well, that's good, that one. Yeah, we need to finish off scripts Is it blowing a little mine? Otherwise, Bill said he's not going to have anything to do with you. Oh, water? Yes, how did they get there? There's crayons in this cup, too! It was water, but now it's just crayons. The other cups? Yeah, you got to check if we have crayons in our house. I can say. You okay? Yeah! Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, my goodness, they're in the bowls, too! There's crayons in the bowls? Are you having a breakdown? I don't know the source of all these crayons. Do you think there's crayons in the cabinets? Yeah, we're okay. Frankly, I'm all the reality still check. exists as we, we know it. To. Oh, here we go. Oh! 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 <laughs> I wonder what made them pick crayons. Crayons, because they were a really stupid thing, I guess. Yeah, they could have been anything, couldn't they? Yeah. Pencils, crayons. So the fact that it's a kid's so thing. Yeah, yeah, it makes it funny, yeah. Wait, is it, is it crayons or crayons? Why <laughs> C R A N S crayons. Yeah, we can. I was saying that. You just said crayons. Crayon. 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 I don't know. Google it. Oh, dude. Google is crayons now. <laughs> oh, wow. What are you doing stuff with now? Yeah, it's just crayons. Do you think Bing is crayons? Well, I don't use it, but I hope not. Imagine if I turned around and you were a crayon. Yeah, but yeah. Time, I will search it. I won't use it. What else is crayons? I don't know. I don't know. This might be. Like the Bertie Bassett advert. Yeah. Oh, they were so freaky. Pretty horror film. Because you built it, that, that's so good, mm. they built it up so far that no matter what you would do, is like the punchline or the bit at the end. I like the fact that the punchline is that 
it's a complete anti-climax. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's so the kind that of was the way to go, but... Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Is it crayons? Crayons! <laughs> okay. That was the thing that I just did with Bibby and Weaving. We watched the things, and I was scared and interested. Yes. And now I think we're going to watch fun. what we do fun. in the shadows, because I watched the live show of Flight of the Concords the other night and I remembered how much I loved them and now I can't stop singing them and going on about them. <laughs> you can't. And so because it's Halloween we're going to watch what we do in the shadows. So there. Okay. Thanks. And goodbye.